So when we say in Christ, it means Jesus becomes the progenitor of this race. There's a tribe. Agaba Jogaya. There's a tribe, there's a race, there's a breed, there's a species that Jesus is the progenitor of. And loosely, for lack of a better word, the father of. That is, everyone came from him. So when we say in him, that's what he is saying there in that scripture. When we say in Christ, we have said Christ is a man, therefore... He is referring to a new type of humanity. A new type of humanity that never existed before. A new means it was never there. A new type, a new kind, a new race, a new species, a new breed of humanity that Jesus is the progenitor of. You know, I was teaching on the Bible doesn't call us gods. <laughs> and somebody on my YouTube channel started quarreling with himself. Oh, please, Dr. Damina, don't rob us of, of our divinity. Don't rob us of our divinity. Why are you saying we are not gods? Even he quoted some scriptures like that. I don't know where he found them from. And they wrote it out on my YouTube channel. We will have blocked him. But I told them to leave him. Let's leave him for a while. If he keeps doing that, then we have to block him. Because you don't come on my YouTube channel and be preaching your own message. You're either there to learn or you get out. How can G-O-D be your divinity? There's no scripture in the New Testament that refers to the believer, a God. No scripture. Not one. All the places we saw God is in the book of Acts, which is not a doctrinal material, and in the book of Psalms and in the Old Testament. No believer is called a God. Believers are called new creations. Believers are called righteous. Believers are called Christ. Believers are called sons of God. There's nowhere the Bible calls you a God, but I don't blame him. He must have been in a church where they, you know, is a product of bad pastoring, where they have wired his head with a mindset that makes him think he's a god. God is the capital God. We are the the small gods. <laughs> You're not a god. You're not a god. You are born from Christ. Christ the man. You are born of God. Born of Christ. So on your inside is divinity and humanity combined. Mortality and immortality. And the name God does not represent that combination. The name G-O-D does not represent the combination of divinity with humanity. Are we together here? Because God cannot die. But men die. Men will remove this body to put on the other body. God cannot be tempted, but we all get tempted. So how can you be a God and you're tempted? With all the exigencies we did for him, he was still arguing. That's the danger with wrong teaching. Wrong teaching makes you think you're right. Everybody else is wrong. Even when the evidence is glaring before your face. I just told them not to block him. They should leave him a little bit. If he keeps displaying that thing again. You know that thing. You know that thing. If he keeps displaying that thing. And I'm talking publicly because I want him to hear it. If he keeps displaying that thing. They will have to block him. Jesus is the progenitor of a race. He is the progenitor of a new kind of humanity. A race of being that never existed before. And don't forget Christ is a man like God. So when he came into the earth, a man like God came into the earth. He is a full man. Everything proved him right as a man. Everything. Have we studied, have we seen a lot of scriptures? Everything proved him as a man. 
He didn't, he didn't do a single miracle because he was God. Not one. All the miracles that Jesus did, he did them as a man. All. Raising the dead, casting out devils, opening blind eyes, deaf ears, making the lame to walk. He performed all those miracles as a man. None of them was performed as God. He performed all as a man. He walked the face of the earth as a man. He was tired. He was hungry. He was tempted. He slept. But we'll see a lot more scriptures. He did them as a man. Hallelujah. He's a man like God. When he came into the earth. So when we say Christ in the epistles. We are referring to a man. But remember I gave a background to that man. He is God that became man. So he is fully now a man.